Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition love and general reading. This is for the element of earth. So if you are Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising, this is for you. Uh, so let's go ahead and begin here. I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I ask that you all please continue to do so. Remember, these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they give you some clarity. This is for the weekend of June the, um, I'm sorry, May the 30th, 31st rather, through June 2nd, 2019. All right, so we have Chariot. Ace of Cups, Five of Swords, we have the King of Wands, King of Swords, Strength, the Seven of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. Okay, so I'm getting somebody who is working as a security guard um, or someone who is like a security driver. Someone may drive a limo or they, they travel or drive for a living. Now, I'm also getting someone who does not want to show how they feel. Um, their defense is to keep their distance, to keep their silence. So I don't know if you've been very distant from someone or silent, but I feel like that is somebody's defense mechanism. It's like, I, I just have to say nothing. I just have to, get, have to give them the silent treatment. And it's like, it's not you, it's them. Someone feels like they need to protect themselves. Um, so I feel like someone is putting themselves first. Someone is like, I can't focus on you until I'm healed or I can't focus on you until I have clarity in my life or I have stability in my life. I just can't focus on you. Um, maybe too, someone is being a bigger person and they know that they are nothing but a distraction um, to you. So they've been staying distant even though they really want to come near you and talk to you. Um, this is making me think of that saying that I just said, it's not you, it's me type of energy. This is also a kind of, I, I get that scenario, it, it's irritating. Um, when you're involved with someone and you guys have been on and off or you're together, but it's just, it never seems like it's going anywhere further and the person is always saying stuff like you deserve a good person one day you know somebody's going to come into your life and I'm saying from especially from the female's perspective who always have men say this you know it's frustrating when they they're like oh you know i'm not the person for you you deserve somebody so much better and one day that person's going to come into your life and sweep you off your feet you know it's like you hate that because it's like i want you to be the one that sweeps me off my feet you know so <laughs> i feel like it's a situation like that like someone has always been telling you that that they're not the one for you because you deserve better and it's just like well, why are you here? You know, well, what is this? So I feel like someone finally had to to set boundaries. Someone couldn't be your friend because they knew that maybe deep down inside you will always want to be with them or that you will always want it to be more than that. And they can't give you more than that and are unwilling to give you more than that. So it's like the the best thing that I can do for you is to stay away from you. So I feel like that's what's going on. Someone is still loving you, but they're being mean to you or they're not talking to you. And somebody is, is feeling defeated and like, what have I done? What, you know, what did I do to deserve this? You know, why are they mistreating me? Why are they sending mixed signals or, you know, they're not, they're really trying to let you go. They're re they really are trying to look out for your best interest because they know that you'll, 
If it's up to them, you would never stop loving them. You would never stop hoping for them. So they finally are setting some sort of boundaries and they're just like, I got to be the bad guy. I got to leave them alone because they, I, I'm not, I'm no good for them. We're not a good match. I'm never going to give them what they deserve. So someone has finally decided to stay completely out of your life. They had to cut it off, whether that was to hurt your feelings or or what, you know, some guy, you know, might be acting like a real creep on purpose just so because you won't, they want you to do better. But sometimes you just still keep, oh, making excuses for this person. So that's why I'm saying in a nutshell, this person is going to eventually just turn their back on you. They're cutting you off. Someone's turning their back on you. They're like, I can't. They see your number, they see your postings, they see everything, but they're like, I'm not responding. Someone is behaving very disciplined towards you they're being very disciplined they want what's best for you even if you feel like they're what's best for you they they know they're not um so take that sign take heed to that and leave that person alone as hard as it will be now i also see for some of you this is your energy that's what you are doing you know someone is no good for you so finally you have to set some boundaries um and you have to cut this person off the you know regardless if this person is sending you love letters poetry clues to show that they're interested you're like i'm sorry but i have to cut you off i i can't pay attention i see it i love you but i can't show you i love you but i can't show you is is really what i'm getting here um someone's spirit animal is a snake uh, someone, someone makes, someone moves low and reaches success. Someone works in silence, which is what I feel people should do anyway. There's no need to keep people updated on your progress. Just move in silence, make moves in silence, and then bam, one day you're CEO. One day you're this, one day you're that. Um, so I see to somebody who is really making moves without talking about it here. Um, something else I was getting ready to say about moving in silence here. Yeah, I mean, just basically there is a need to lay low. There is a need to study the snake. You know how in, um, I'm just looking at how they're staring at the snake. You know how in martial arts... Um, there's always the names for all these, these moves. It's because they study the, the movements of the animal. You know, like there could be a fight move. I don't study martial arts, but there could be a, a something called the praying mantis where you, you're formed like a praying mantis and you're behaving like a praying mantis. And that's the way to defeat your enemy. So someone is having to take on the energy of maybe a snake to, to, uh, defeat your enemies here. Um, I feel too, this is about having victory and success. Um, this is you being very fixated on a goal and not getting distracted, not allowing any distractions to come towards you. Now, I also see someone who is coming off as uh, like a dirty snake, like you dirty snake you. Someone is trying to backstab you, but I feel like you see what they're doing and you call them out on it. It's like, I'm calling you on your bullshit. So someone is being called out for their behavior um, or they like, you thought you were slick. You thought you was going to get away with that. You thought you was going to betray me like that. So this can go in regards to business and love to me. Um, and friendships or people who you thought were your friends like stuff is really coming out you're really seeing you know that someone really was a devil someone really was not looking out for your best interest but luckily you did have some loyal people by you um, I see too someone who had feels like they found their ride or die and it, even if you try to seduce them or tempt them they're like, nice try, but I found my ride or die and I'm not ever, you know, leaving this person's side. I'm, I'm remaining loyal to this person. If you're already in a relationship, I feel like you have your ride or die. I feel like you have your loyal person. 
it's even if you are like in a new relationship i feel that someone's ex or someone from the past might try to slither back around but it's too late it's like no no thank you i'm good now um there's a need for you to set boundaries uh, I feel like someone feels like they need to watch their back. I feel too like some of you, especially spiritually, that your your uh, ancestors and your spirit guides are already watching your back. Like you can go to sleep. You can rest easy because they're fighting for you when you're unaware. Um, they're always looking out. Spirit is looking out for you. They're like, go to sleep. We got you. So I feel like you. they're like your spirit guides are like watchmen. Um and they're protecting you uh you have a lot of people protecting you you got a lot of you you got a lot of goons around you somebody got like goons and they kind of there's a need for you to kind of sit back and laugh i almost feel like if you feel like you're under attack you can just sit back and laugh because you like do you know how many goons i got you know how many people got my back uh, spiritually and physically like it's not happening so someone is laughing at the fact that someone even tried to go there um, someone is just like someone just finds it hilarious that they thought they could get away with something or they thought they could do something um, it's just like that's just not happening nice try though I give you an E for effort so someone is very protected if you are the one if you are the enemy and you are trying to do something to somebody I would take heed to this um, because I feel like this person is guarded and this person is protected from a very uh, powerful force, a very powerful unseen force or energy. Um, so mm, I just feel like it's best to just take the high road and leave your enemies be. Leave them alone. If you don't like them or whatever the case, just leave them alone. Um now also like i was saying too okay so i'm seeing someone who is like i said working security i don't know if you are protecting someone who has some sort of status i also feel like someone is trying to remain humble you could be dealing with a cancer uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Sagittarius. Uh, I see someone being very happy with the way things turn out. Someone's very happy. Someone is proud of you too. I see someone saying, I'm very proud of you. Now, I feel, too, that there is something going on where there could be, like, maybe you're an activist or you're dealing with an activist. I also see someone who works in a medical field. If you were involved in a lawsuit, I feel that you will be victorious in that. I feel that if you're a healer, a, like if you've been working on yourself, I feel that you will over, overcome. You're not going to let the illness, you're not going to succumb to the illness. Um, even if it's mental illness or depression, I feel like you are going to overcome that. Um, you have, I, I also get someone who has a lot of strength. Someone who's very resilient, someone who bounces right back, someone who is tough as nails. Um, there is, if this is you, I feel like there is nothing that can break you. Um, if it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. And I feel like some of you have had to fall or be hurt so many times to get to where you are now. Um, you are able to sustain tough criticism you are able to swim with the sharks um i feel like there's nothing that you can't do you are the victor here you're a strong fighter you i feel like you are someone that is not to be messed with 
you know. Yeah. People could be intimidated by your presence or maybe the person that you're dealing with is, is coming off um, as very intimidating. Somebody might, might be taking a trip to London um, and going to, is that the Buckingham Palace? I'm seeing like the Buckingham Palace here. And I'm seeing those guards that stand with a stern face. Um, they're unable to be distracted. Um, I, I feel like something's going on where maybe someone is trying to be silly or playful. Um, I'm seeing ruins. So I feel like someone is either studying about history in the ruins, the ancient ruins, uh, or the old cities. Someone is touring. Someone is going on a tour. So if you're a visitor and you're just kind of touring the, the old world, um, or if you are a performer and you're tour touring in Europe is what I'm getting. Um... I see too someone who is a motivational speaker or I'm seeing like a group of people who are who belong to a group where they're going out and they're speaking and inspiring people and motivating people. Um, you might be that person. Hmm. I see self-mastery. I feel so spiritually someone has really understands um, the balance between good and evil within themselves. I feel like someone understands that they are their own um, God of self. Whether people understand that or not, whether people think that's blasphemous or not. Someone has an understanding that they are they are their own individual God, that God has given them this their permission to do this, that they're all everyone's connected, but they're realizing that they are their own God and that they are in charge of their destiny or they take responsibility for their destiny. Um those of you that study Neville Goddard will understand what I'm talking about. Um, I don't know why, too, I'm getting the energy of someone who is looking at their ex from a from a distance the person that kept saying i want you to do better i feel like that person or, or it's the person saying that you know i'm no good for you or you could do better than me i feel like that person is somewhere looking at you and seeing you happy and they're happy for you they are they're not jealous. They're being very mature of the fact that you've moved on. Um, yeah, they see that you're in a relationship with someone. At first, I feel like maybe they feel a little awkward about it. Or if you run into them, you run into this person and it's just like, didn't expect to see you here. Like you and your new love pull up and this person is valet or you just you guys are just going to the same event um i just feel like yeah i feel like there is a confrontation not a confrontation um you're being confronted with someone from your past and they're seeing you with someone new now this could go the other way around you might go out and see your your someone from your past with someone new either way i feel like whoever pushed the other person away is the person is happy to see that you have moved on put it that way um, even if it's a little awkward at first because they still love you, but at the same time they knew. Yeah. 
They knew that you deserved better. They're happy for you. Yeah, someone is somewhere watching you move on and they're happy. All right, so let me pull some energy cards. Additional messages for Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, May 31st to June 2nd, 2019. So somebody felt rejected at first. Someone was at a low point. Um, someone felt a sense of loss. Someone had lost their faith um, because they felt like they, they couldn't find what they were looking for. There was an emptiness here. Your pockets could have been empty. Your soul could have been empty. Um, but something happened where now you became inspired. So we have uh, here the third chakra, which is talking about the solar plexus. So I do feel like some of you have reclaimed your power and you're feeling inspired. I feel like you're dealing with all things that deal with the energy of the sun. You're feeling vitality. You're feeling creative. Uh, there is some sort of rebirth or renewal within your soul. Uh, you could have, you know, gone after your dreams. You could have met the person of your dreams. You could be in a dream job. You could be exercising. I feel like you found your happiness. You found your inner peace. You found your happiness. You found something that gives you life. You're like, this is life. This is, this is living. This is life. Doing this gives me life. So I don't know what it is that you do. You might be inspiring people and maybe it triggers something within you. Um, I feel like you give life to people. Uh, you found it. I feel like you found it. Whatever it is that was lost, you found it. Uh, if it was a soulmate, you found your soulmate. Um, here, seventh chakra is dealing with your crown chakra. So some of you may have tapped into a spiritual gift. You may have had some sort of spiritual awakening, but it took you to have to go through some sort of loss to get there or to find it. Um, you might un have some sort of understanding of what unconditional love is now. Um, I just feel like you have clarity. Something could have been revealed to you in a dream or you could have had a premonition um, that gave you clarity. Some of you are connecting with someone who you have um, a telepathic bond with or you feel their energy. There's someone with there's someone that you're connected to their energy or you guys are connected on a higher level. So this is making me think of a twin flame connection. So either some of you are happy to be with your twin flame or that you found your twin flame. Or if this was like what I was talking about earlier in a, in a deck that um, you're happy for your twin flame or your twin flame is happy for you. Um so I feel too like there is this for for some of you you found a void here you found that emotional void through spiritual works or spirituality or you're finding that what you do is very therapeutic because it awakens you spiritually um, so you could be anything creative um, 
I feel like you found your passion. I don't know what this is, but it's like you found your, your passion. And because you found your passion, it enlightened you. Even if you're passionate about love and relationships, it, it's enlightening you. It's empowering you. Um, and you want to share this with other people. You're like, I got to sing this to the world. I feel like uh, showing my emotions to the world. So you might be posting that you're in love. You might be... Um, posting that you are grateful um there's something that you're excited about and you want everybody to know what you're excited about i feel like your dreams are coming true or a manifestation has finally come into fruition here um i also one more thing i see something in regards to someone being psychic so I don't know if you are psychic or if the person that you are dealing with is psychic. All right, so that is all for Earth. I hope that resonated. Uh, please feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Many blessings to you all.